The year is 2084. If they told me what the world will become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition. A digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one. The great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic, a crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, they endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression. A despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds on your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me. To access you, to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. All right, so uh, one one detail before we begin. I guess, first and foremost, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Observer. It's a dystopic Blade Runner, Neuromancer kind of midpoint. There might be some horror elements in here. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, it's uh, super stylish. I, I tried recording about 10 minutes of this earlier today, and I was like, holy shit, I actually think I have to stream this. Also, holy shit, that's loud. Oh, God, why? It's like... Ah, uh, ha, ha, hi. That is so loud. Wow. Okay, anyway, so the other thing I should mention about this game is it comes out tomorrow. For those of you watching this live, and today, I guess, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact. Uh, last thing is, the guy, the main character's name, Daniel Lazarski, it's Polish. I had an art director with the same name, more or less. I mean... His name, his first name is not uh, Daniel, but still. So when I first heard that name, I was just like, wait a second. Wait, what? I got confused, and that's going to confuse me for most of this game, potentially. Because he was the guy that I worked directly for. And I'm not used to that sort of thing. It's like if at some point I uh, run into somebody with the same name as Bird. I'm going to get real confused. Anyway, new game. It's very voice acted, so I might not actually be talking a whole lot for this. Should be fun, though. Lazarski, you there? Hmm. Come in, Lazarski. Lazarski, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream eater treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Tidy heart. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Yeah, sure. Wow, that was convincing. Take your meds, detective. I need you clear-headed. This is a weird menu. I want to say he looks like somebody. He kind of... He has Christopher Walken's eyes and hairdo. He's different, but still. So we are Citizen ID, Citizen Class B. Date of birth, October 19th, 2038. So, like... He's pretty old. Gender, A1. What? Well, let's get synchronized. With drugs! 
God, the idea of having just something that injects me with drugs in my hand is, like, really uncomfortable for me. Is that duct tape? There you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. It sounds pretty bad. Yep, it's not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from you? <laughs> it's funny. I thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. <laughs> I really thought I could pull it off, you know? It was so close to making a difference, to setting us all free. And now it's. <laughs> can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are, I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch. Display caller ID. Displaying now. Krabinski. That's no. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Rock fucking bottom. Is that like an apple? All of this intro makes me uncomfortable. Like really uncomfortable. Cybernetics, the idea of cybernetics is really cool. The actual, actual like the actuality, the reality of cybernetics is really uncomfortable. Maybe when I'm, like, older and, you know, need some of these things, like a pacemaker or whatever, I won't mind so much. But, like... Also, holy shit, this game is loud. I'll have to turn down the music some more or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but, like, just the idea of trying to fit technology into biology could work really well, but probably won't. Not for a while, especially con considering how much you, like... I mean, my phone's, what, three years old and it's already a piece of junk. Imagine how often you'd have to... Replace your tech. Ugh. That's the other thing. They always imply that, like, people are rotting around the tech that they have, which... Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was a skull, not an apple. Yeah, probably. Apple wouldn't have made sense, but... Okay, now here's the actual gameplay. This almost looks like a completely different game, though I love the style. Alright, yeah, this is... I don't know if this is a hallway? Yeah, this is a hallway. This is like a CD hallway. It, this is one of the... This is one of the really cool things about, um... The idea of, like, you know, cybernetics and, like, augmented reality and whatnot 
is you could actually have some like really boring looking locations. Like the idea of having like a, a hallway, just a, a generic white hallway that you then retexture to look actually really nice and like uh aesthetically beautiful. Like you could do that. Admittedly, this game, it's shit covered in glitch, so it's not exactly the same. Then you've got a little robot janitor. Hey. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna go over here and look at this. I'm really curious, but I, I don't know if I want to talk to this guy. You look kind of. Yeah. Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, tenant. Huh? Uh, where's my... There it is. There's like a tiny little dot that is my reticle. I don't live in this dump, if that's what you're asking. State or business. Just visiting a friend. Friend? Uh, name? Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Oh, apartment seven. Uh, oh, ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm, door open. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna see if I can change the gameplay settings. Is there... can I... can I change my... No, I can't. I was really hoping I could change some things. Okay, Polymath 13A... or 31A. The state-of-the-art holographic display offers virtual reality-grade immersion. The mighty processor will handle even the most complex calculations. The kinetic interface allows for maximum comf comfort and efficiency. Ma Macron... Six tattoo gun, laser precision, stellar performance out of this world quality, down to earth price. It's busted. Any other cool things that I can check out? Got maps. So you are here. Well, I guess we're going outside. Unless we got this. What's this? No. Yeah, so it's not going to let me. So it wants me to push. Okay, that's kind of weird controls, but that that's fine. Attention, citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. It's interesting that everything has a weird box around it. It's maybe supposed to be hidden? I'm not entirely sure. I absolutely adore the visual style, though. This is stylish. Kind of reminds me of um, Shadowrun, actually, in terms of like uh, visual style. All right, well, I don't remember. Oh, he said apartment seven. I don't know if we've got to check anybody else's apartment out. Uh, so this is a water closet. Can I go in the bathroom? No. Uh, it's apartment 8. Probably down the other side. I just, I like looking around here. Oh, hi. Never mind, this is it. Wait. Really? This is, this is the entrance to the hallway through a broken section of wall? Alright. What the hell? Can I... Okay, I can just get through here. This is... Creepy... Uh-oh. That's a... That's a lot of blood. Adam? Oh, 
abnormal stress levels. Heart rate irregular. Administering mild sedative. Dispatch. This is Lazarski, ID 656210. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking great. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Operational efficiency restored. This is Lazarski 656210. Setting up a crime scene. Press E to activate to electromagnetic to vision. Compass for connections. Six million volts wasn't enough. Stun baton busted. This is cool. Um. Oh, right mouse button to Victim analyze. Is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. HN. Gotta start somewhere. Missed call HN. Hermes consumer grade. No, I don't know. Bioscanner. Erratic cutting pattern. Indicating the killer was in a frenzy. Blood, Homo sapien, no match found. Contaminants uh, detected. Failed to extract forensic data. Interesting. Oh. There we go. The head was removed post-mortem. It's possible the killer took it. Motive. Unclear. Okay. How do I close out of this? Awesome. Take a look at some stuff. So, what was it again? It was no, it was middle mouse button for my own thing, which isn't really helpful. This is bio scanner. What well, what's this? I've already forgotten. Oh, E E for text text scanner. What's this thing? I don't know. There's tech in this. Whatever it is. Hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. Might be able to decode it later. You never cared about this stuff. So what's this? I have no idea. Okay, uh, so we want to do... Okay, so there's, there's our answer. So rotate. So EM vision tells me that there's a storage device. So if I just right mouse button, we take it. Awesome. All right, so what else we got around here? Not really a big fan of the sound effects in this game. Kind of hurt. Well, let's take a look at what this is. Holographic frame. Adam, so this is your apartment. Doesn't mean it's your body. Okay, so we got nothing on the EM scanner and nothing on the bio scanner. All right. It looks like we can only uh, take what we need. Can't take anything more. Ugh. I love the style. The vi the visuals get really confusing, though. It's very messy. Okay, it's, it's like... It's saying, like, ignored, and I'm confused. As though there's stuff. I guess I should be looking for things that I can interact with. Uh, not just, like, scanning everything willy-nilly-ish. Okay. What is this? Tech scanner on... Well, I guess I can check it out. So we've got to do it from here. Bingo. Keypad. Uh, nothing I can interact with, though. Yeah, I don't know what the... I don't, oh, maybe I do know what the keypad... Uh, key code is. What do we think? 13th of April or 2068? I don't know. All right. Uh, I mean, I could try. What is April? March, April. Four. So 1304? 
Let's try 1304, just because I'm feeling clever. Though that seems like it's too easy. That figures. You were never that sentimental. Aha! He did actually have a voice line for it. Awesome! I, I was thinking there would be one. Okay, uh, well, I guess back to scanning. So there's the stun baton, that's all that stuff. So what else have we got here? Looks like we got... Hello. Collateral damage or evidence disposal? Ignored. What's this? Bunch of processors. Let's see. Um... I mean, I can scan them all I want, but it doesn't seem like it really has much here. Nope. Alright, uh, what else we got? It's cool that I can inter interact with, like, almost all these things. Ignored. Okay, we got something in here. What's this? So this is, uh, it's a motherboard. Doesn't look like I'm really supposed to interact with either of them, though. No, nothing, nothing on that. Wait, yeah, structural damage. Yeah, go figure. Not seeing too much else. What's this? Oh, I see. If it's hidden behind something, it becomes some squares. That's cool. So I just have to keep looking around. Uh, did, did I have something up here? Oh, no. It's interesting. Unfortunately, we've got, like, uh, details that we can look over, but we will ignore Kylon it. Okay. Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. So, Adam Lazarski, position chief research officer. Clearance level A. Can't take it with me, though. Confusing. Nothing in here. They don't know how much I'm supposed to be spending in these in these, uh, scanners, or if I should be running around without. No, nothing here. So I'm a detective, yes. So, as far as I know, the main character for this game is, um... Let's see. Um... So the main character for this game is a... He's sort of a detective. What he does is he goes, uh in after the fact, I think, and like wipes people's minds, or he looks for evidence, not only in the crime scene, but also in people's brains. Because uh, everybody has cybernetic chips and so on and so forth. Uh, which is really cool and also extremely, extremely dystopic and scares the shit out of me, the idea of people doing that. Uh, so we know about those two, but that's nothing useful. I guess let's check the bathroom, see what we got. Yeah, we're a corporate cop hound-ish. Anything back here? I guess otherwise I'll just have to keep looking for, um... Oh, I guess we never actually did check out here. For any clues. I mean, it looks like there's maybe things that I can interact with. Security console. Illegal modification detected. Unregistered security code. Shh. Guess I triggered the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. Okay. Oh, I see. We're trapped in the apartment. That's cool. I've ever watched Black Mirror. No, I actually have never seen Black Mirror. I, I'd like... Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'd, I'd maybe like it, but uh, what Shell told me about Black Mirror it just sounded like something that would make make me unhappy. I don't know. Video games I can kind of get into. Um, TV, I generally prefer to look for the more imaginative stuff. Like, I'm not finding anything immediately available here. Let's, uh, I'm gonna try one more key code. There we go. Really? Okay.
Um. I want to look around for a bit to see where that might have popped up. Wait, what is F? This is a new one. Okay, I gotta look at the controls for a second. Okay, so we have night vision, bio vision, EM vision, run, crouch, interact, zoom. How did I figure that out? It's dystopic, 1984. Okay. Oh, the book was in the closet? Uh, you mean this one over here? Oh, shoot. There's this over here. Uh, so I, I'm gonna explain this. I wanna see if I can find it. So 1984 is a very pop- uh, it's a very famous book. Uh, more or less kind of setting the stage for for dystopic stuff. If if you've ever heard of it's not H. D. G. Wells. I don't remember the author for it. But um nineteen eighty four is super, super influential to this sort of thing. And so was, I was curious. I was like, it's it's gotta be it's gotta be the oh yeah, there it is. It's right there. Printed on real paper. A bit archaic for you, Adam. George Orwell. There we go. H. G. Wells is uh, War of the Worlds. Sorry, uh, George Orwell wrote about kind of a society where um, where knowledge is like super um, knowledge is is like super constrained and like restricted. So uh, the main character, I believe, I've never read it. I probably should, considering I love that sort of thing. Uh, the main character is a fireman, and his job is to burn books. And he, I mean, he's effectively participating in in limiting society and makes them easier to control. I don't know, I could explain it better, but uh, just, I, f I figured it would be as much. If it's dystopia, there's going to be a 1984 reference. It's just guaranteed. So let's take a look at what we got here. Was that? Oh shit, that was Fahrenheit 451. Crap, what's 1984 then? Oh, 1984 is the one where, um... Where it was like a observer state. Yeah, I'm thinking of Fahrenheit 451. Shoot. Man, I really need to read these books. Okay, I actually don't know what's what's in 1984 then. I, I've always got them messed up. Yeah, thanks guys. I, my brain. 1984, dystopic novel. Published in 1949. Okay, let's get out of this. I'm just gonna actually read this. Yeah, it is Big Brother. Yeah, well done. Sorry, I know I know the reference. I don't actually know the stuff. All right, let's let's just go a uh, short plot summary if I can find one. Plot. Here we go. Uh, this is kind of long actually. Shoot. Well, screw it. Okay, 1984 is the person who goes through and censors and rewrites history to make the government Big Brother look good. Oh. Yeah, I've never actually heard anybody uh, send that my direction. Thanks for the quick summary. Yeah, I... I for whatever reason, um, my my schooling thought The Crucible and... Um, the Crucible, Catcher in the Rye, uh, Scarlet Letter... What else were there? A bunch of those novels were more important. But then again, we were in Massachusetts, so at least Scar... Uh, not Scarlet Letter... Um, the Crucible was, like, a little bit more important. I don't know, whatever. Okay, now that that faux pas has gone out the window, let's, uh, let's go back to scanning the personal computer. So, no manufacturer, unlicensed software were detected. Okay, so what else do we got around here? So, some kind of chemical. Collected. Oh, Synchrozine. Okay. Collected. So, I might actually have to use that. Oh, jeez. So nothing on the bio side of things. Can, oh, I can interact with it. Cool. Okay, downtown Inferno. Tragic accident or insurgent attack. Let's check mail. They know. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday. 
and today I saw this weird guy outside my window just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I got enough problems as it is. H.N. Are you complications? As far as our little mule goes, don't worry. I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head, and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind for now. Oh, a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize. J. P.S. Glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what I'm trying to accomplish. Oh, right. We're not done. Yeah, I'm sorry for making that flub. I I like to read a lot of books that are happier, and so dysto dystopic stuff tends not to interest me that much. I read um, Neuromancer a long time ago, and I hated the entire way through. I thought it was kind of weirdly outdated. No nothing about it was fun. It also got like really, really muddy. Okay, so documents corrupted data, corrupted data, corrupted data. What about programs? Home security. Well, we can open the gate again. The apartment security system. Leaving the crime scene. It doesn't help that I'm super sleepy. Oh well. Ah uh, no. I did not learn much much from this, honestly. I was expecting that we'd like learn more about the crime or some kind of information, but I guess it's just like, well, 